Hello to my online learners. Today we are going to look at organs and systems and how organs work together to form systems and then systems work together to form an organism. What I want you to consider is this picture. Now this is a picture of tissue and just before we even talk about the details of the tissue, let's look at the picture. You've got this wiggly purple line and then you have this circular pattern purple line with dark purple spots in it and then you have this more pinky wavy bit and then here's a nice loose bit and over here there's some loose space. Um, what you're looking at here is a diagram of a artery. So on the inside of the artery you have an endothelial lining which of squamous epithelium and it is thin and it was uh, great because this way it allows the artery to stretch when under pressure. Then around it, this is a layer of smooth muscle, but you can see how it's smooth and it goes around. Then you have this other layer of connective tissue around. So here is an example of tissues, the endothelium, the smooth muscle, and the connective tissue going together to look at an organ. And an artery is an organ. Okay, and each different pattern is a different tissue. Then when we look at a system, a system is a group of organs looking, a group of organs working together. And there are uh, 11 or 12 body systems, depending on which way you look at it. Um, here is a really good YouTube video that I want you to go through. And then when you look at the system, May, write down the main organs in the system and the function of the system. And so this is a really good um, way to summarize. Now, the video won't give you the what I call word terms, but we'll fill those in as we go. As, as we go. You may know that when we're talking about the skeletal system, um, it's usually got the word skeletal in it, or it may have artho if it's a joint, um, sort of arthroscopy. Um, it may have bone names in it. Another one for muscular is might have myo for muscles or um, something similar to that, okay? Now, the integumentary system is not covered in the National Geographic video, but we're going to talk about a whole unit, um, sorry, a whole chapter on the integumentary system, but that will be in the next unit, okay? So go through each and um, have a good look at the video and summarize them. And then once you're done, um, and you'll still have some spaces, there is a textbook link up here and you can fill in anything with the textbook link. Again, realize these notes are for your own use, but they're very good uh, at preparing you for the exam. Good. I'm now going to jump ahead and assuming that you've looked at all the body systems, I'm going to look at how the body systems interact to make an organism. And the way we're going to interact with this is look at one of the most common things done in the body, which is cellular respiration. So we're going to take the glucose and oxygen, and it is done in different parts of the body, the mitochondria, if you remember that. And the breakdown of glucose into carbon dioxide and water will produce carbon, sorry, will produce ATP. And it's this ATP energy that is so important for the body's use. Now, in order to consider the whole process, let's consider each one of the activities working together. So first off, we have glucose. Now, glucose need to be digested. So the first off, you're going to take it in your mouth in terms of food, and then the digestive gland, will, or sorry, digestive system will break it down. Then it will be passed around into the circulatory system, circulatory system. And the circulatory system will then transport it to the cells. At the cells, it will then go into the cells and react with um, oxygen to produce ATP. Now, if we look at the oxygen, the oxygen has to come to the body um, and it comes via the via the, um, sorry, I was trying to correct that and I ended up not, so let's just leave it for now. Oxygen comes into the body by the respiratory system. OK, 
Okay, we're not, uh, my hands aren't in the right spot there. Sorry, let's just do a quick spell check and get that correct. Then once it's in the respiratory system, it needs to go into the blood vessels in the heart to move it around in the circulatory system. Okay, then it will get to the cells and it go into the mitochondria also. Good. Now let's look at carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a waste in the body, but it'll be transferred via the circulatory system. into the into the lungs which is the respiratory system and it, the respiratory system then it is breathed out now water is a little tricky because a lot of the water that you use is recycled so but the water is it can be in the circulatory system and then if there's too much of it it is usually in the urinary system, it is corrected and removed. So that's what I want you to think about when you're talking about how systems work together. Now, I do have a written question on the exam where I will ask you, I'll give you um, two muscle or two systems and you need to come up with um, how they interact with each other. And usually one provides the nutrients for the other or um, one provides, um, they interact. That's the important thing to say is you can't have one system without another. Unfortunately, when we study them, we study them one at a time. But at the end, if we have time, we'll look at how they all come together. Good. So finish the video. Finish um, looking at filling in your organs and functions. And uh, I'll see you later.